Hello everybody, today is December 9th, 2011. It's been almost a week since my last video. I've been thinking about what my next video is going to be on and I decided to kind of give an update of some of the most important things that I heard over the past, say, four days. Um, I'm going to touch on MF Global and a couple quotes from Jim Rogers in an interview that he did that I'm going to link below. And um, a couple little clips of some King World News interviews that I listened to. Um, Peter Schiff talking about how gold is the only thing you can really trust in your hand, as opposed to you know liabilities, um, promises to pay someone else's liability, which you'll hear common for people that knock gold bugs and silver bugs is, oh, well, they say that it's no one else's liability, ha, ha, ha. Well, you know, well, it also doesn't pay any interest and, and it doesn't, um, you know, pay you a dividend. So it's just a piece of metal laying there. Those people are failing to recognize gold and silver as the protector and the insurance policy that they are, the protector of wealth mainly their insurance. They're right, they don't pay interest or a dividend, but you, you shouldn't really look at them as an investment. I mean, they should be looked at, the most important role that they play is as a form of insurance. And I think people are gonna be finding that out as this whole system that's broken starts breaking down even more. Um, I also have a clip from, uh, you know, these are just like 20, 30 second little clips. Uh, Jim Sinclair talking about how he sees the future might play out. You know, who knows exactly how it's going to play out. But I like, there's a certain group of people that I like to listen to that have been right in the past numerous times. And I think the best chance of preparing for what lies ahead is by listening to them. So um, about MF Global. The trustee was saying that you know their goal is to pay back 100% of the client's money. Well, we don't know if that's going to happen. We don't know if these people are going to get all their money back. Um, but according to a financial news article recently, I, maybe it was today, um, they're saying that the trustee's next step is to bring up to 60% of the client's money back to them. So you know, that money's been frozen for like five weeks or longer for most of those people. So I guess they're, they're going to get 60% of their money back. That's according to this. I mean, I don't know. Who knows how much they're ultimately going to get back. But, that, you know, that the main thing that this brings up is that you need to be your own central bank. And I've heard Mark Faber and Jim Sinclair mention this numerous times. You need to think about being your own central bank. And because gold and silver really all are, are all you can trust. And so that way you don't have to worry about having some electronic digits and some account with a clearinghouse because you don't, you don't know if you'll ever see that. The prime example is the MF Global people that got hurt by this break, you know, gambling with the client's accounts and money. Who knows who else is doing this? And if the whole derivatives, you know, I think a lot of people don't, I don't even, un I don't understand the magnitude of one quadrillion dollars in derivatives. I know that was one of the primary reasons that brought us down in 08. I mean, once you have a, a derivative that's no longer supported by something else, it's just a domino effect. And so you know, that whole thing can unwind. I mean, the whole system is broken. There's really no way to fix it. And I think uh, this clip of Jim Sinclair helps explain you know, better than I can. So when thinking about becoming your own central bank, there's certain things you need to, to keep in mind. I mean, the number one problem with that would be, the number one risk would be theft. I mean, you need to protect your, your, your money. Um, you need to keep it, you need to, probably number one things you would want to have in mind are a home security system, uh, Rottweiler, Doberman, German Shepherd, uh, guns and ammo, and uh, you know, a good safe bolted to the concrete floor or sunk into the concrete flush mount so you can hide it. A hidden safe, 
we need to plan all this stuff out, be your own central bank. I think those people are going to have the best chance of coming out okay on the other end, uh, financially speaking, as opposed to the other people who, you know, just get absorbed by what I feel is coming, in the, in, you know, down the road. So anyway, here's, um, here's a clip of uh, Peter Schiff real quick. I mean, that's, you can trust gold because gold is what it is. It's not a promise by anybody to pay anything. It's something real and tangible uh, that you have when everybody else uh, breaks their promise or everything else fails. It's you know, not somebody else's liability. There is no counterparty risk if you own it yourself. The only risk is that someone steals it from you, but I just have to make sure to protect it. And what about you? And then, um, real quick, I'll read you a couple quotes by Jim Rogers. You know, I, so many people don't think about these things, and I don't know. I, I keep wanting to reach the people. I'm speaking to the choir, I know, because most of you people that you know all this stuff, I think it helps to um, you know, continue to look at these things so we can plan the best possible way. But I, there's people that don't even know these things. I wish I could reach them with this video, but you know, we've gone over this in the past. Some people just don't want to hear it. You know, they're only worried about the ball games this weekend or whatever. So right now what the Federal Reserve is doing is ruining an entire class of people in America. Rogers said, the people who saved and invested for the past 20, 10, 20, and 30 years are now being ruined because interest rates are too low. You know, those people have their money in a savings account or a CD and inflation's just ripping those people apart. They're losing, you know, they're losing hand over fist on that money that they've saved as inflation's, you know, probably close to 10%. You know, I think the government's numbers are around four. We know we can't trust those. They don't seem to understand economics or finance or currencies or much of anything else except printing money. So anyway, here's the last clip and I'll wrap this up for today. What, before I play this, one last thing I, I want to mention. Now I keep putting out this negative stuff. This is not because I enjoy it. I just, I think this is really going to explain right here the way that I feel because I agree with Jim that this is a real possibility of what we're facing in the future. And I'm sorry to keep putting out this pessimistic stuff. You know, I really need to come out with some optimistic videos, but the more and more I study and learn this stuff, the less and less optimistic I am because it's totally broken. We need to totally reset. And the only way we can do that is the whole thing's going to come down. And we need to plan. We need to plan for all these different possibilities. Maybe you saw the interview I did with my brother. You know, he's all about guns and ammo and, and food supply and not so much about the silver and gold, which I'm hoping he'll start to get some silver coins because I think he's missing that aspect. But some people may just only be doing the coins or maybe only doing some, some gold and silver and they don't even believe in guns. They don't have a gun. Well, maybe they need to rethink that. So. Here it is here, um, you know, it's, it's just important stuff that, that uh, I think you have to think about. A nation that used to be the leader of the world, all of us having to speak Mandarin so we can talk to our bosses, who are not really motivated by human values or uh, social causes, fight them, if you will, uh, surf them, if you will. There is no one out there that has a plan, that has a practical application that can change what is now. There is no practical solution being offered. There is no politician uh, that has the courage to do the necessary. And if the necessary was done, the system is so fragile that it would totally implode. There is no solution to the present problems. What's done is done. What will happen will happen. If you're not prepared, then you become the road. Okay, you become the pavement. You must be your own central bank. You've got to use direct registration in where securities are concerned. You must have your physical gold. You must have your physical silver. Or you're just another sheeple kidding yourself of a different school. The system is broken. Jim, just a little.
So there you have it. Um, 